I was always very impressed by the integrity with which the practice approaches this interpretation of architectural style and its expression through the detailing in the furniture. Great architecture is, is always embellished and helped with, with great furniture and great spaces are made ever more relevant with the more flexible and elegant and versatile that furniture can be. In this case, the LH42 is one of our standard products. So there are a set number of ranges. You know, you can have it with a ply seat, a lacquered seat, or an upholstered seat, or your own upholstered seat. And it comes in a range of finishes as standard. But we have already, for example, quite happily changed the finish for some architects in other projects. The LH42, um, it was actually designed for a job for Trinity Wall Street in, in New York. And it was largely designed by um, Katie Spence, who is part of, part of our team. And we've done a lot of research over the years on the engineering of the joints of these kinds of chairs. I don't know if you can see this, but you'll see that the back leg is skewed. It's not actually square on plan. There is some real physical mechanics at work with chairs which stack because you have to offset the back leg to enable one chair to go on top of the other. Katie came up with this idea of actually by twisting the joint, you, you suddenly you put on a whole different series of mathematics into the turning moments in the joints themselves. But for me, um, one of the really interesting things about chairs is the emotional response that you get to a chair. And that back rail, I mean, that's got a particular characteristic in oak. And one of the reasons why we like to use European oak is you get this wonderful grain effect of the medullary rays. But it's, it handles very well, you know, you pick it up and move it around, but it has that tactile and visual quality. Buildings have to work visually, but they also have to work for those who inhabit them and for those who manage them. And what we can do is design and provide the furniture which will do all of that and also last 50 years or more. And if it's done elegantly and sustainably and ergonomically and in a way that's easy to store and easy to handle, I think that's quite a good sell. Great design-led architectural practices are considering every facet of the life and operation of a building. We would always encourage architects to you know, collaborate with us from the very outset of a project wherever possible so that we can offer the benefit of our experience and our expertise acquired over 40 years of practice in the creation of something that is, is genuinely going to bring the inside of those great pieces of architecture to life.